ecological footprint is when you leave your mark on the world by doing something to hurt the environment. Okay. Ecological footprint is a way that um, we just measure how much an impact um, a person has, or you can use it for a nation or a group of some sort, how much impact they have on the natural environment. So trying to measure things like resource use, um, how much waste they produce, energy they use, all of those kinds of things. Um, and the UN sort of has a measure that looks at how much land would be required to support that person's life. There are other ways that you know we can help out as individuals in our households. So me and my team, we want to find out how that's possible, how we can leave less of an imprint on the world and make it a better place for not only for us, but for future generations to come. So we're going to take a day out of my life. We're going to see how that can be done through the simple choices that you make day to day. Oh, oh this is so bad. not part of the documentary that you are allowed to see. Sorry. Canada has probably, I think it's about the fourth highest ecological footprint per capita. I can even just like... <laughs> At 10. <laughs> I took my vitamins. Okay, not that much vitamins. We're using resources that don't really exist. They're there, but we're taking them at a faster rate than they can replace themselves. We're also taking them from countries that don't have as much. Like they're we're importing stuff from other places, so we're using sort of their share. Plus, we're basically we're taking the share of the future. We're taking it from our children and grandchildren um, because. By the time they get there, it's nothing's going to be left if we keep going at the rate we're going right now. Because we only have one Earth. We don't have four, unfortunately. <laughs> no! Okay, we're going to get more paper towel. Never enough. The way the UN measures the ecological footprint is actually in what they call global hectares. So they take in the land on Earth and divided it like up as if it's all equal, like it has the equal ability to um, grow food, the equal ability to take waste and clean water and all of those things, which obviously isn't true, but they just did that for mathematical ease and they divide it up. And so they figured out how many hectares of land there are per person that are alive right now. Uh, my dad saw them um, working on this McDonald's and they were going to throw out those two park bench thingies. And he was like, um, throw it away. What do you mean throw it away? I'm going to take them. Um, and he put them in his car and drove them here. And then we washed them and he's going to build something for us to sit on. If that's not recycling, then I don't know what is. Canada, each person takes a boat seven and a half, seven, something like that, um, hectares of land, and there's about two per person, really. So we're using way more than actually exists. For most of my life, I've actually lived in an apartment building, and there's not really any recycling in apartment buildings. You just throw it in the garbage bag and throw it down the chute. So when I moved to my house, it was a big change for me to actually separate my garbage and remember that, oh, there's different places for it to go. I don't waste water anymore. And then I should like, do my right choice. 
what? It's kind of creepy because one time I saw a centipede in here, and I hate centipedes. They actually give me heart attacks. One time, like, we locked the door, and, like, we couldn't get in, and there was no key, because I guess people who moved out never gave us a key, and then we just cut a hole through the wall to open the door. <laughs> and you just taped it back together. My dad just taped it back. We're in. My dad has a red truck. Nothing's happening, I'm running out right away. Yeah, you're still buying groceries, right? No, I first have to eat to make a... Uh, what is that? Oh, yeah? yeah? I'm scared. Oh, okay. Like, you don't know what how it's going to go until you're editing everything together, right? From the grocery store. All of this. Chemicals and everything. Which requires water to wash. Pay attention to where your food comes from. Um, try to buy locally um, because that cuts down the transportation and all of the energy and everything involved in that. Um, organic food, um, you reducing the amount of water you use. You know, like shower every other day instead of showering every day, or take a shorter shower or whatever. Um, no, use when you change the bottle. Okay, you should always recycle and not litter. I recycle paper and plastic. And where? Where do you recycle them? In the recycling bin. Do you do it everywhere? Yes. Like? I do it at school, and when I come, when I come, take a transfer, and I don't need it anymore, I keep it in my pocket and recycle it at home. We use energy efficient light bulbs. We don't turn on the heat a lot, so we're always cold. <laughs> I'm <an> African, so it's <laughs> be warmer than that. Turn off the lights when you leave the room. Yes. You don't. I always run place better. In fact, I do better than that. I shower with the lights off. Mm. So that he has to. <laughs> well, I try my best to recycle and I don't know, you know, litter. I. <laughs> That's about it. I could probably do a lot more. I actually went to Texas this past weekend and they have no recycling or some, uh, they have nothing in place for their trash. It starts at home. What you gotta do is, you know, when you run the tap on your brush, turn it off and then start brushing. Don't keep it running. And when you're ready, just turn it back on. That it saves a lot of energy, a lot of water. You know what? Sometimes you don't even need the light to brush your teeth. If it's the morning, turn off the light. You don't need pull throw stuff in the garbage that shouldn't be in the garbage. I take it out and I move it to the proper recycling area. I live with my parents and they buy like food from farmers markets and, and sort of local stuff and uh, we try to cook a lot at home so we don't buy as much like prepackaged foods. 